Hey, what's going on, folks? I'm going to come back at you Friday and just do a follow-up, as it were. And I'll talk about some music today, but I'll also continue because, um, yes, I do feel like um, it's important for people to share, especially when the intent of the sharing is is where you're trying to do something for with a pot with an energy that wishes to spread something that is beneficial for anyone that encounters it. I'm going to talk about music, but just re another real quick thing. I saw where a friend of mine in California put on on uh, Facebook this old quote by, I think, Ely Wazell or someone about, about why it's important to take sides because silence, this and that. And while there's, and while there's wisdom in that, my thought that goes with it is that even though that's true, what it also says is it means that we will always fight. It means that if we're if we if we have we seem to have the capacity to know to be wise enough to rise above to see beyond taking sides, but we can't do it emotionally or something. And so it just kind of saddened me to say, well, since we have to take sides and everyone is so happy about taking sides, we're always going to fight, which means we, what we all lose. I mean, we're all going to keep living like we're living. Some will, will live better than others. And I just, you know, if I suppose if I lived high on the hill and had everything and was spoiled rotten, I wouldn't care either. I only had to delete two, I think three comments yesterday. Uh, absolutely am not having... For me, there is no excusing our current president. Anyone in their right mind knows they wouldn't want to raise their child to grow up acting like that. And this fucking piece of shit is the president. That anger is justified. It's not personal. So the people who are just ready to jump salty and have a problem because they don't think well or are not really very smart, when I say those angry words directed at the president, it's justified. It's justified. Look up what the word justified means, okay? And I know I'm speaking angrily for many. It's not personal at him. It's like this man is in it dangerous, okay? Yeah, I think times are so weird that it's okay for me to talk like this. And um, once again, uh, you don't have to watch, you know, you know what I'm saying? And um, no matter how clever, clever you try to be, I can hear the intent in words. So people coming by and trying to drop some shitty stuff, the shit always comes out. And it always shows who you are. What is wrong with you? Why don't you want peace? Why don't you want the world to be okay for everyone? Okay. The one thing I want to say really right quick about Timble Tapes is that I did some listening to these and I just want to encourage you and I'll put the um, the link below. If you're interested in the a lot of the stuff I, I talk about, Outsider, Sound Collage, Ambient, it's all here on Timble Tapes. I forget which one of the new ones it is, but one of them sounds a lot like The Residence. Another one is very ambient, kind of surprised me. I'll have to play it again and find out which one it was. But uh, this is some good stuff, and it's interesting that it's on it's on cassette. I have a busy busy day and night tonight. Um, I have two shows tonight, two two actually rather big shows. Well, for me, they're kind of big. Um, RAF, my hardcore what people call us hardcore punk. We're just a hard charging band. RAF is opening for millions of dead cops tonight here in Omaha. MDC, love this album, love what they said, love what they say. Um, the singer, his words on here are really very, very direct and pointed. Still relevant to this day. So I'm doing that. And then after that, my band Scudder plays with Karin Allison. I could have shown you the CD, but it's put away. Karen Allison, the international jazz singer, she did a jazz solo show last night in her old rock band, Tomboy, is doing a one-time reunion. 
tonight, opening for Scudder. Uh, the leader of Scudder, Jeff, was kind of a, a Svengali, as it were, for Tomboy. He wrote a lot of those songs and helped put them together. Right quick, Arthur, if you see this over in England, I think you're associated with the BBC. Thank you for having this sent. I just received this yesterday and my first listens, I love it. Field music and warm digits together. It's a BBC recording. This is a um, 10 inch single, very motoric, very German in influence. By that I mean the, the uh, Neu cluster axis of the motoric beat. But not just that, that's a real strong touch point. This does some other things and it's not quite as static as the other field music album I have. I have a, if I can see the title real quick, I'll grab it. And yes. Oh, I was wrong. See, I get people mixed up. I'm glad I did this. So this is the field. There is a bit of a similarity to what's happening on here, the field. Oh, this is real loop oriented. But I'm going to take a look at this and see if there is actually a connection. Anyway, I'm going to leave off with this and come back to you again soon. Oh, one more, one more. This is cool. This was a record that I pulled and I thought, not this one. I wanted to talk about this because it's like, does anybody care about this record anymore? This is a record I bought back, um, in, was it the 90s? When it came out. It became cut out. I didn't know about Philip Boa, but I liked the cover. I like covers where, you know, I just like that. It's basically like a piece of um, cloth over the lens that's taking a picture of a church or something. But Philip Boa and the Voodoo Club. I thought I was going to sell this, Aristocracy. But I've ended up playing it several times, and I really like this. Um, it does sound a bit dated. Kind of like the Gang of Four, but um, enough of the songs are, it's a keeper, it's a keeper. Okay, I've got so much going on, I keep saying I'm going to update my uh, my uh, merchandise and let you know about it, but um, see, that's not my focus. I'm only trying to raise money so I can keep a roof over my head, I don't care about it, okay? My focus is on being alive and breathing and having a good cup of coffee. And, and finding a way to get along with people and have good days and good energy. I'm not a leftist, I'm a human. Don't, that really, really upset me when uh, someone comes over and starts talking uh, bullshit um, using um, uh, labels and stuff. I don't think like that and I refuse to allow someone to label me that may be what that person perceives, but that's the problem. They can't see beyond their filters. This is why everything is so divided, because people are acting so stupid. I mean it, really stupid. They can't see past their own shitty asshole. Get some perspective, people. We're all in this together. There are. It's not a win-lose, win-win situation. It's a lose-lose situation, because people are so short-sighted and, and stupid. All the wise people died. Man, I can remember people when I was a small boy. Some of the older people who were just wise. You just knew that everything was going to be all right because they were around. Where the hell are those people? They're certainly not in office, and they're certainly not running any churches. Yeah, and if you don't like what I say, remember, this is my right to speak my opinion. I'm just sharing it. So you have no business coming over here being rude to me. None of you. Check yourselves. Look at yourself and what you're doing and what is wrong with you when you do it. This needs to go out. Think about it. You wouldn't let your children act like that unless you're really kind of some kind of fucked up person. There's my smile. <laughs>